produced by Cameron Whitty. We begin with asking Jonathan Walker about the Hoop House, what Culver's plans for it are, and how teachers will be using it in their everyday classes. Culver Family Learning Center is constructing a hoop house on their school property to spread the importance of environmental preservation for the children of Culver Family Learning Center. Now you may be asking yourself, what is a hoop house? It sounds like a complex that has six basketball courts in it and is used for tournaments in Evansville. To give some better insight, I'll hand it over to Mr. Barnett, Executive Director of Metropolitan Development with the City of Evansville, to tell us what a hoop house is and what Culver plans to do with it. Okay, uh, we're standing in front of what's called a hoop house. It's essentially a greenhouse and uh, the city's uh, Department of Metropolitan Development uh, partnered with the family, uh, uh, Culver Family Learning Center uh, to purchase this hoop house so that the children uh, that attend uh, this uh, institution can learn how to grow vegetables. So uh, there'll be raised beds here with nice soil and the kids are gonna learn how to plant and grow their very own veggies and when they uh, harvest those, they can take them home to their uh, houses, to their moms and dads, and eat them at home. Uh, the excess food will be actually used for food here at the school. And it's just a great uh, project. And when we heard about it, we got very excited. Uh, the city is trying to bring, uh, help bring back this neighborhood, back to its former glory. Uh, this was one of the finest neighborhoods in the city of Evansville back in the 20s and 30s and 40s. And it suffered some neglect over uh, recent years, the past 30, 40 years, and we're trying to reverse that decline. And one of the ways you do that is work with these uh, institutions such as uh, EVSC and uh, Culver here. And uh, we hope to have a great effect uh, in working with them and the residents of the neighborhood to uh, bring it back and teach these children about growing things and hopefully instilling a new love uh, for gardening that will last them all their lives. So today we're celebrating the year. We have a lot of community partners that have come out to support us today and donate. Uh, the South Sector Police are cooking hot dogs. We've got WNIN, Early Childhood Development Coalition, a local hair salon. The Department of Metropolitan Development has given us a grant to fund our Hoop House initiative to do urban gardening. A lot of things are happening today and basically just celebrating uh, a year, our first year here at Culver. Uh, and our alums are actually, our Culver Alumni Association, who have gone to school here in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s have come out to support and they're helping us uh, serve the food today. So it's been a great day and we're looking forward to another year next year of uh, learning here at Culver School. Um, I graduated from Culver in 1959 and went on to Central, but most of the people, we all get together about once a month and have a dinner. And then once a year, we have a big picnic, which is coming up in July. And it's, it's just nice to see the people that used to live in this neighborhood, and it's nice to see this neighborhood coming back. Hi, my name is Jonathan Walker. I'm the uh, Community and Family Outreach Coordinator here at uh, Culver Family Learning Center. I'm part of the FSCS grant, that's the Full Service Community Schools grant. Uh, and what we're doing here today, the work going on behind me, is um, we have some of our uh, uh, local AIS students uh, volunteering uh, along with some of the teaching staff and uh, uh, also our supportive service staff here at Culver. Um, and we're installing our, uh, our hoop house, our community garden. And uh, hoop house is uh, basically a large uh, house to uh, blanket or shield plants. Um, we can extend our growing season and also get an early start on our growing season. Uh, certain varieties of uh, vegetables can be grown. Uh, we will be um, uh, growing both fruits and vegetables. Um, and certain, certain vegetables can be grown all the way through uh, the winter. So um, we're, we're planning on donating a lot of the food to our uh, local food bank. Uh, we'll also be using a lot of the food in our um, after school programs. Uh, we'll have uh, uh, different schools visiting throughout the summer. Um, and my, my part of my job here is the Hoop House uh, uh, Operations Manager. Um, I'll be here every day from seven, 7 to 3.30 in the summer, uh, 
taking care of the vegetables and fruits and uh, working with the students. We have a variety of programming um, and then uh, we work together with our schools um, and also uh, work out the programming that is age appropriate. On October 25th, the Culver Family Learning Center Hoop House was finally covered in plastic with help from the Evansville Iceman, Harrison High School's Center for Family and Community Outreach Program, Mayor Jonathan Weinsapfel, and other members of the community. We so far have been coming out here a couple times a week and just watching the garden change in the seasons. Um, like for an example, we ate a cantaloupe and we got to cut it open and see the seeds and have a little taste. Um, and now we're seeing the change of the seasons and so we can see seeds to plants and, and learn the science things that happen with that and really take a close look at how our garden grows.